Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we do my Copa America tier list, guys. So we have our different tiers with S being the best, pretty much for the champion, A being great, B being av B being good, C being average, D being terrible, F is like the worst. The worst, the abomination. So we're going to go ahead and do this, guys. I want to know your guys' uh, tier list in the comments below. And we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and rank the teams in alphabetical order. Argentina, I think it goes without saying. They're definitely an S. Um, now, were their performances worthy the NFS? And, you know, probably not. I'd probably put them in A, potentially even B. But because they won the Copa America, you got to put them in S. You have to put them in S. I always, I always have the champion going S. Only the champion can go in S. Even if the performances throughout the tournament weren't really the best. Because I would probably give Argentina an A if we're going by just like overall, not by the fact they won it. So if they had lost the final, I probably would put them in A. But because they didn't, you know, there's that. Uh, Bolivia, it's obviously now. I mean, <laughs> there's not really much to explain there. Bolivia, one of the worst teams ever. Uh, didn't pick up a single point. Now, they did look decent against Panama and against USA to some extent, but... Really, I guess Uruguay, it was just embarrassing. So, yeah. Uh, next up is Brazil. Now, Brazil is an interesting one, guys. Brazil is interesting. Where do we talk rank Brazil? I think Brazil... The thing with Brazil is they only won one game in the Copa America this year. Only one game. Every other game, they tied. So, if you're looking from that point of view, it's decent. They went undefeated. So, you got to give them that. But ultimately, Brazil were just terrible. Like, if you're looking at it from a goal scoring point of view, they only scored two, uh, five goals across four games, four of which came against Paraguay. So I'm sorry for Brazil, man. I have to put them in C. C is average. And for a nation of this magnitude, for the standards they have, this is unacceptable for Brazil because the standards of Brazil should be to win this Copa America. Anything less than a win is a failure. The fact they couldn't even reach the semifinals is a disgrace. For a nation of this magnitude. So I'm sorry for Brazil, man. It's a C. Canada. I mean, Canada did well this Copa America. Got to a third place, uh, got to a fourth place finish. And I honestly think Canada really played well throughout the Copa America. Now, I know some Americans are going to try to come up with this thing that, oh, Canada had an easy draw. They were in the easy side of the bracket. Da -de -da -de -da. No, you can't do that. I'm sorry. To any American that is saying that, we just got grouped. So you can't say that. Canada had a hard group. Peru and Chile. Now, I know Peru and Chile are not the same as it used to be, but it's still Peru and Chile. They still have a lot of heritage, and they still made it very competitive. And you saw how Canada really struggled in those two games. It wasn't like Canada blowing them away. You know, Canada kept two clean sheets against them, scored one goal. I think the big concern for Canada is their finishing. Their finishing. Because as good as they were in this Copa America, they only were able to win one game throughout the entire campaign. In 90 minutes. So I think this is kind of a concern for Canada. Is that if they're going to build upon the World Cup. They got to get some more wins. Just having draws alone is going to be enough. So I think for Canada. It's definitely an A. Um, because like I said. Getting to a, a fourth place finish. And your first ever Copa America is insane. You have to give credit to Jesse Marsh. What he's done with the team. And how solid Canada have been defensively. Which was one of my big concerns I had. Before the Copa America. How bad they were, def how bad they were defensively. Next up it is Chile. Um, Chile for me, really poor this Copa America. Two points, not scoring a single goal is disgraceful. Their best player throughout the three games was Claudio Bravo. I'm sorry for Chile, man. I'm, I'm going to have to put them in D. I'm not going to put them F because they at least were competitive in all three games. It wasn't like they got blown away or whatever, but it's a D, man. It's a D because to not score a single goal to Copa America is embarrassing. Next up is Colombia, the losing finalist. Is they're definitely a Colombia had a fantastic Copa America, guys. I thought they were amazing throughout the tournament. They were very good with set pieces. Defensively, were solid. Vargas had a great tournament. Hamas Rodriguez was amazing. Richard Rios, Lerma were great. I just think Colombia just lost to a better team, Argentina, and they put up a great fight. So Argentina for Colombia, as I said, man, they're an A. And yeah, this is obvious. Costa Rica. Now, Costa Rica actually did quite well this Copa America, guys. If we're keeping it real, Costa Rica actually did really well. They got four points in a group. They managed to beat Paraguay, which many of us thought Paraguay would win, especially considering Kelly Navas retired. And the fact that they got a draw against Brazil. 
is commendable. Now, I know Brazil is kind of washed nowadays. They're not the same as it used to be, but still, to get a draw against Brazil is incredible. And I think for Costa Rica, the only thing criticism I have with them is offensively, they're very, very bad. Defensively, they're very good, but offensively, they're very bad. And that is one of my big concerns I have with Costa Rica. But I thought Costa Rica did really well this Copa America. They could be one of the few CONCACAF teams that actually can hit put their heads held out high that didn't make it through to round uh, to quarterfinals. So Costa Rica, man, I'm actually, you know what? I can't believe saying this, but I'm actually going to put them in B. I actually going to put them in B. Actually, you know what? I think B might be a, mm, it might be a bit too generous with B. You know what? I'm putting them in B. I'm putting them in B. When you pull context and everything, I think a B is fair. Next up, it is Ecuador. Ecuador, for me, they were very underwhelming this Copa America. Only able to win one game out of four is insane. Now, they did put a good performance against Argentina. That was probably their best performance in Copa America. But it doesn't excuse the fact of how bad they were against Venezuela, which they should have won, being a man up and how much they dominated. Venezuela, pretty mu- Ecuador pretty much went defensive. And then against Mexico, they pretty much parked the bus. And even though they got the win against Jamaica, it was a controversial win because Jamaica could have got the penalty there, which could have forced a draw. And we could have had a very different way into the match day three. So for Ecuador, as I said, it's probably a B, but it's probably like a low B. It's probably like a low B because Ecuador, they yeah, they made the quarterfinals. They did win a game, but Ecuador weren't really that great throughout the tournament. So I'm going to put Ecuador a B, honestly, guys. I'm putting Ecuador a B. I'm going to put Ecuador a B, guys. Putting Ecuador a B there. Uh, next up, it is Jamaica. It's really tough to discuss Jamaica, guys, because I actually thought Jamaica did really well against Mexico. Um, they were just unlucky there. Uh, but granted, although Mexico were much better, but still, Jamaica, I thought, put up a great defensive game. The game against Je- Ecuador was great the f- second half, but the first half was bad. And then the Venezuela game was all over the place. See, I could put Jamaica in F, which I could very well do. But because of the fact that I thought they had two decent games, I'm going to give them a D. But I can't give anything more than a D. I can't give anything more than a D. Uh, just because of the fact they weren't able to. They only scored one goal. And they still conceded, I believe, seven goals. Sorry. Uh, seven. Yeah, seven goals is really bad. So, at least Jamaica scored a goal. Which they weren't able to do in the previous Copa Americas. But for Jamaica, as I said, man. It was still a bad Copa America regardless. It was still a bad Copa America regardless. Next up is Mexico. Mexico, for me, had a bad Copa America. Now, I will say Mexico actually were quite a kind of unlucky because I actually thought they played well against Ecuador and Ecuador were very defensive and Mexico did everything they could to win. It's just their attackers let them down. I think the big thing for Mexico in this Copa America is their attack let them down because they should have gotten something against Venezuela. I thought they at least deserved a draw. So honestly, if you look at it, guys, Mexico actually had good performances, but they just couldn't convert their chances. So for Mexico, I'm probably going to give them a C. Um, I think a C is fair. Um, but yeah, I can't give anything more than a C, man. I can't give anything more than a C, unfortunately. Um, next up it is um, Paraguay. I'm putting Paraguay right here in F. This was terrible. This was a terrible Copa America for Paraguay. The fact that Paraguay got zero points in this Copa America is a disgrace. They have not got zero points in a long time. And the fact that we all knew Paraguay leading up to this Copa America were so bad offensively. That's not the surprise. But what made me really surprised was how bad they were defensively in this Copa America. Defensively, they were shocking, abysmal. So that's why for me, for Paraguay, I have to give them an F because of how bad they were defensively, which I think is a big letdown. Next up it is Panama. Panama. Um, Panama did well this Copa America. The fact that they managed to advance out of the group for the first time ever, defeating the host nation the United States, is incredible. And I actually thought they had a good Copa America. They gave a good game against Uruguay. Um, they did beat Bolivia, but then that loss against Colombia was really bad. Five nil loss is really, really bad. So I think for Panama, I'll give them a B. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna give them a B, honestly. Um I'll probably put them like right here. Um, and I'll probably put Ecuador above Costa Rica. I can't really put Costa Rica that high because like they didn't qualify, but yeah, I'll put Paraguay uh, Costa Rica at minimum B B minus probably. So, yeah, uh, Panama, I thought they did well, barring the game against Colombia, to be honest with you. Uh, next up is Peru. I'm sorry, Peru were really terrible this Copa America. Peru were really terrible. Didn't score a single goal. Pretty much the same as Chile. The only difference is that Peru couldn't even, um, 
the only difference is that at least Chile managed to get two points. Peru finished with one point, which was that nil-nil draw against Chile. Guys, this might be harsh, but I'm thinking about putting them here. Because even against RGS B team, they still look really bad. So, yeah, Peru for me is an F. I'm sorry. Next up is United States. United States is a D. The fact that we couldn't advance up in a group with Peru, I'm sorry, Bolivia and Panama is disgraceful. And the fact we were trying to rely on Bol Bolivia to give us a result was crazy. United States didn't show up at all in the Copa America. Uh, most of the players didn't show up. Only a few players did well, like Pulisic and Balogun. Um, but that's pretty much about it. USA were just terrible. We did not create many good team play goals. All the goals we were kind of scored were individual brilliance. So United States is a D. I'll probably put them like the high end of D, I suppose. Uh, because we at least did get a win on like Chile and Jamaica. But yeah, it's definitely a D. Uh, next up is Uruguay. Mm, Uruguay, guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought Uruguay were very disappointed in this Copa America. Because, yes, they made the semifinals, so in theory, I should probably put them A. But if you actually look at the performances, guys, Uruguay weren't really convincing. Yeah, they beat upon the nations they, they should, like Bolivia and Panama. But when they came time to play against quality nations like the likes of USA, Brazil, Colombia, even Canada to some lesser degree, they struggled. They really did. And what made me very surprised was how bad they were offensively, which was surprising. Because even against Colombia, with a man up, they still weren't able to convert their chances. It's like Colombia created better chances than them with a man down is crazy. And now I know the game against Brazil, they went compact and they went defensively, which is understandable. But they still were should have gone more offensive against Brazil. So I'm gonna actually say Uruguay's a C. Uruguay's a C. Sure, they got to the semifinals, they got third place, but Honestly, guys, I thought Uruguay were just very underwhelming this Copa America. I, I really think they were. I really think they were very underwhelming this Copa America. Venezuela is definitely an A. Venezuela is an A. I know some people are going to say, oh, they didn't make the quarterfinals whatsoever. They didn't make the semis. Come on, they still topped the group at nine points. Nine points and a Copa America is insane. And technically, they didn't lose a game. They technically didn't lose a game, guys. They went undefeated. So I think for Venezuela... They had a good Copa America. It's just that um, it's just that game against Canada. They weren't really their best at. But yeah, I just thought Venezuela had a great Copa America. And still, top of the group of nine points is something that has never been done before in Venezuela history. So anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. What major disagreements you have? Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. And peace out.